testing and a one two three and a testing and a one two three and a one two three four five boys a liar oh hi guys and welcome to today's youtube video today i'm going to show you how to do your base contour and blush including nose contour i hope you guys have your makeup brushes ready because we are gonna get started i hope my mic is working testing a one and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six and a seven well i hope you guys have your makeup brushes ready because we are gonna do our makeup and i'm gonna show you how i do my base i'm gonna show you what i do in a step by step and yeah i'll probably throw in a few tips here and there i did my eyebrows on tiktok so if you guys haven't seen that video please go watch it go show some love my tiktok is valdovinos underscore vanin i hope you guys are ready for the content that i'm gonna drop on youtube i'm just basically going to be doing my makeup with you guys and nothing special i'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on certain things and yeah just go more in depth for the girls who just need a little bit more help you know i've been there before my number one tip if you're starting makeup just try new things try new products not all products are gonna work the same on me than they do on you so please try new products like new things learn to grow if you want to improve your makeup skills you have to try new things that's all i'm trying to say let's get started i hope my phone don't run out of storage i did not clean my room i so i'm doing my makeup in a very messy room i did the corner of the bed because it had to look good for the video and i turned on a can if this mic cuts out on me i'm gonna throw some hands so if it does cut out i'm gonna tell you now i'm gonna finish the video in a voiceover we're gonna finish the eyebrows when i do my base and my powder i'm so sorry i keep looking around also i don't really like looking at myself in the camera because then i start to pick out everything in my face that i don't like so like i'm doing right now looking around all right let's get started i did my skin prep i just skin prepped with vitamin e cream after that i put on my primer which is the elf power grip primer when my concealer sits too long on my lid or like my face in general i go in with the brush because brush is a lot stiffer than the sponge so it's a lot easier to blend out all the unwanted lines this brush is the jaclyn hill 19 brush and i got it in a kit I do have a lot of content creation tools on my Amazon storefront. So if you're a content creator looking for content things like tripods, microphones, mm, this and that, you know what I mean. Um, check out my storefront. It's linked in my bio. I really hope I like how this video turns out because every time I film a YouTube video, I just don't like it. Either I don't like the background, I don't like the quality, I don't like my face, I don't like my voice, I don't like the concept of the video. <sighs> I just get on my own nerves. That's all it really is. I'm so fugly. I'm so fugly, y'all. I was gonna say, please excuse my loud house. I do live with a family of four, so, you know. And we're Mexican, so, you know, the house gets loud. Like I said, I used the e.l.f. putty primer. I used two layers. Next up, I'll go in with the NARS Natural Radiance Foundation. I love this foundation. It is pretty expensive, so if you prefer a cheaper one, the Pretty Fresh Foundation works just the same. It's really important to skin prep because when you skin prep, the moisturizers will help blend your foundation in with your skin and make it look like it's actually like absorbed and not like just sitting right on top flaky not looking blended in i always use a moist sponge so i did go moist my sponge before i sat down always use a moist sponge a dry sponge is just gonna soak up all your product and it's not gonna give you any coverage oh so, Make sure you use a moist sponge. You can also use a brush. I'm not a big fan of using brushes just because I just never learned how to make my face look smooth with them. That's the reality. Once you blend in your foundation, we're going to go in with concealer. So do not put anything under your eyelids. Close is good, but not too close under your eye because then you're just going to cake up and crease. Make sure you blend down to the neck also. we have our foundation we're looking like a ghost this is the nars natural radiant concealer i love this concealer it's a very creamy concealer but it's also full coverage and it just lays so nicely over the skin i definitely recommend if you ever thought about buying it 
And I'm basically just covering anything that needs more coverage. So I'm going to start off with blending the concealer around my face. We're just looking so smooth and airbrushed. Next up, we're going to go into contour. We laid down our contour. Today's contour that I'm using is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Chestnut. I basically put it where my bone is. You can feel your bone right here, kind of like where you put your blush, you'll feel it. You're going to want to blend this contour up towards your eye. Try not to blend down. We don't want to contour this area. We want to contour from the bone up. Oh. I'm just using the back of my sponge and we're just gonna bounce our sponge do not rub if you're having to like literally like scratch your contour with your sponge because it won't blend out get a new contour you need a new brand doing that is gonna cause your foundation to lift and you don't want your foundation to lift now for the contour on your chin you're gonna want to blend the contour down right on your double chin okay we still have a double chin but it looks a little more like a shadow now yeah now let's do the nose for the nose i'm gonna use a small brush try to stay away from thick brushes on your nose because you don't want your nose to look bigger than well i mean there's a reason why you're contouring your nose you know you don't want your nose to look bigger than it actually is we're gonna use the same contour to make your nose shorter if your nose is long you're gonna put contour right here on the bottom of your nose just like that if you want your nose to look longer do not put any contour there focus your contour here on the tip of your nose Now, I want my nose to look shorter and thinner. All right. So now to make it look thin, I'm going to follow the natural shadows of my nose. And we're just going to put that line there. So right here. Perfect. Now we're going to move. So we're not going to follow the actual bone structure right here that I have. We're going to go a little bit more in. And that's going to make my nose look long. If you want your nose to look shorter, follow the natural shadow of your bone or you can extend it more in towards your eye. That will make your nose look a bit shorter. Now if you want a button nose, I love button noses so I'm going to put a line right across here. You don't need too much. And now we're just going to blend everything out with our sponge. Now I'm not going to touch the middle white or that white right there try not to blend in there all right now we're blended now to blend this little area here just about up and down you have to get used to your cream contour if you're not sure how creamy pigmented strong your contour is practice with it so now let's set the face this is the brightening lilac powder i also use the brightening pink powder um, i'm gonna go dip into this with a powder puff you can find these powder puffs linked on my storefront. So now with my powder puff, I'm trying not to look down. Take the powder puff and you're going to stamp the... Oh, oops, I got it on my nose. You're going to stamp the powder. And then just keep going back and forth in that same area right under your eye. Brightening powder, you mainly want to focus on the areas where you want to brighten, which is the under eye and under the contour right here. I also brighten under the chin and on the forehead and that's good enough now with the other side so for my under eye I use the pointy for the face we're gonna be using the round I'm going into the Laura Mercier powder all of my products are so dirty I don't know how y'all keep your products clean honestly and now with the Laura Mercier powder we're gonna go over everything even the under eye we go over it again because we help blend the brightening powder down up and down do not rub you never want to rub the only time you rub is when you use a brush all right the eyebrows are all done there's a few bald spots i'm still brushing through now for contour i'm using the essence contouring duo oh no way my microphone fell 
the eyebrows are done I did go back in with black eyeshadow to fill in the bald spots because my hair is not that thick on my brows. Next up, we're using the Essence Contouring Duo Palette. I love using this as my contour. The brushes are from Real Techniques, the Enchanted Collection. 062 is the brush name a big fluffy brush to blend everything the more you blend the better your contour and then we're gonna blend out some more i'm gonna tell you the difference between contour and bronzer contour defines your face defines your facial features it'll make you appear like you're more contoured more snatched like a nice bone figure bronzing which is also from essence i love sun club it's in the shade natural um but bronzing helps warm up your face if you're a very pale person bronzer will be your best friend bronzer will help you look more tan it will bronze you up like the sun make you look a little bit sun kissed Baking helps remove unwanted shadows where you don't want them so if you accidentally contour or bronze in this area i told you not to bronze or contour in you can use powder to help lighten it up all right now let's do our nose contour i use a thin fluffy brush it has to be a little bit fluffy if not your nose contour is gonna look way too sharp so we're gonna use the lighter contouring shade and again exactly the same how i did the cream contour i'm gonna start with the two lines all right follow the shadow up to make my nose look shorter down here i do use the darker shade down here and then i just blend it out and then we're just gonna create a line that goes across don't make a harsh line because you're gonna see it there even after it's really hard to blend stuff on your nose so try blending as you apply it now it, this needs to be blended out so use that big fluffy brush you put your bronzer on to help blend trust me i have so much experience with makeup that if i make it seem a bit easy but i promise you just with practice you will help better yourself doing these type of videos to help motivate you guys just do your makeup more because you need to practice in order to do good makeup in order to do good nose contour have a good base at least to fit your face you know i might not be that good doing makeup on other people but my own makeup just best believe that makeup gonna be slayed oh so you'll do the same steps put your baking powder which is the laura mercier powder i'm using and take away all the unwanted shadows you want to carefully apply your highlight with a thin brush or your finger but just be very careful not to apply that highlight where we put our contour you only want that little white highlighted area you see there where we did not put any contour i hope i'm making sense i hope i'm not talking too much all right and now we're gonna put on our blush i'm using the color pop lil vibe blush this is a cream blush i accidentally didn't cover mine one day and now it's a little bit dry so i have to like move the product around because the top layer did dry out look at that and i apply brush here where i apply my highlight if you apply the products up here it'll help elongate your face so that you won't feel too boxed you know now we're just gonna brush everything away it's kind of weird not doing a tiktok video because it's just like i can continue going on with my routine please make sure you leave video requests down below so that i can know what to film and so that i can know what you guys like to see i held off for a long time so i want to be back and i hope to be back so also if you have not noticed i, I do stutter a lot um but i know some of y'all relate to me so let's just continue doing our, doing our makeup we're gonna add more lip plump this is the essence what the fake extreme chili pepper extract lip plumper it feels like you ate chile i'm not even joking with you i be licking my lips sometimes because i forget i have it on and my tongue be so spiced up but it only lasts like a few seconds not for too long what do we do on our eyes i don't know our pink reddish lip do want black eyeliner that's what i was gonna say but smoky i did not throw away the james charles palette i just couldn't bring myself to do it this is the only good color eyeshadow palette i have so 
it's just too precious to throw away like this is the only palette that has a really good color white a really good color black and everything in between so i didn't throw it out it's my bestie i did not join the lawsuit so i'm not getting any money from morphe so i'm still gonna use it yeah and i have no other comments to say i'm gonna just create a black smoky liner not too big because my lashes are big. Boy's a liar. Boy's a liar. And let's just extend the black on the under eye. And now I'm just blending everything. Should I do? Yes, I shall. <laughs> I just keep talking to myself. We're gonna use a red in our waterline. I don't know if I want like a deep red. Ooh, yer. Yeah, I like it. This is the one size lip snatcher code word lip liner. I'm using it as eyeliner. I don't think that's bad. And we'll use this again for our lips later. Now we will put some mascara on. Got this new mascara primer, which I'm gonna try. It's from Lancome. My eyes are getting a little bit low. And now the eyelashes I am using, they are the Matte Black Faux Mink Collection 3D Volume Lash Velvet. And I also like the style Matte Silk. Now for eyelash glue, the Super Strong Strip Lash Adhesive from Lash Couture. I believe it is from KISS. It's just the Lash Couture collection. I don't really know how to explain how to put on an eyelash. I feel like, again, just with practice, over time, you'll know that thicker eyelashes are a lot easier than thinner lashes. So if you use like the KISS eyelashes, like the strip eyelashes, and it's like the super thin band, those are going to be a lot harder to put on than these ones here because these are already shaped round and you don't really have to like maneuver them too much. Try out different eyelashes and try out thicker bands if you're having a hard time putting on eyelashes. I put a quite a bit of glue and I let it dry mostly on my eyelid because as it dries it starts gripping onto the skin better so how can I show y'all? I don't even know how to show y'all this is such an awkward position so put it on the inner corner and set it down on top of your natural lashes okay that's the first step that's why you want to put on mascara first so that they actually have something to rest on. Now with your Lash Tech tweezers, fixing the edge. And again, you'll see from your mirror where you need to grab it and where you need to place it. You'll feel the cold lash glue when you know it's on your skin. Now with your Lash Tech tweezers again, you're going to grip it from any position and you're going to fix it where you need to once it's stuck do not move it because then the lash glue is not going to stick anymore this is how your eyelash should look you can still see my natural lashes under but i'll show you how to blend them if my audio sounds weird or different it's because i don't have a microphone anymore so now the way we blend is you take your tweezers and them together with the, the tacky mascara so now the eyelashes are done. Now we are gonna do our bottom mascara. Right here is how the makeup is looking. We're gonna set everything. I'm all done with the powders. This is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray, 16 hour wear. I love this. This is probably like my third bottle, honestly. But I get that big bottle from Walmart. For lips. Let's see what I come up with. We're gonna use the shade Cold Brew from NYX. Right, and then I put the Buxom 
real red right here in the middle right and then i topped it off with the buxom raspberry limoncillo lip plumping lip cream this is my favorite this highlight now this is the diamond fenty balm just like that and also on the lids and now for the nose again very precisely all right and now our nose is snatched and now for my inner corner i'm using tassel from color pop just to brighten up the eyelid and then i'm also dragging it up here it just makes my eyes look so gorgeous oh God. ain't never too much Oh. I think I put it too down. This is all for the makeup. Let me go finish getting ready and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, and here is the final look. I did my hair. I just blow dried it and I used the straightener to curl my ends inwards. I did the bangs like three days ago, two days ago. I don't know how I feel about them. I haven't trained my part yet, so that's why I have like this big gap right here. All right, well, anyways, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day, and I hope you guys all get your flowers that you guys deserve. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys appreciate this video. If you guys want more makeup tutorials, I will definitely do more. Leave your requests down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!